Hello everyone, I am Sobhi. Uh, today I am going to discuss about a very popular thing, popular software that is GNU Plot. GNU Plot is free and open source plotting program that has been in wide use since 1986. So, it, it is uh, used as a plotting software and as we know that uh, when we uh, do simulation, we do computing, a lots of data is generated and when data is generated it is necessary to plot them so to plot them we need a software to plot them and gnu plot is do the same that is uh, it plots the data and it is free so that's why it's very popular so at first we have to open the terminal that is control alt t and now in the terminal we have to write gnu plot so this is the first tutorial and very basic tutorial so gnu plot and press enter now so if you don't know ab anything about gnu plot then just uh, type help and it describes something about gnu plot so you can know uh, you know something about gnu plot and uh, from here and as you can see that GNUplot has been supported under uh, supported and under active development since 1986 as I earlier said and it uh, supports many types of plots in either 2D, 3D and also so it can draw using line points, boxes, contours and etc etc. So today I am going to show you something uh, simple plot, some simple plots and some editing uh, of that plot. So now let's quit it and clear the screen now again open gnu plot okay now let's say uh, there are some predefined function in gnu plot uh, that is sin x cos x mod x tan x etc etc so you can search uh, in google and you can uh, get a list of that function so if i want to plot sin x so i just have to write plot sign of x and enter uh, yeah here it is so as you can see that this is a sign of this is sign of x and if you press the upside down and this button uh, uh, beside button then uh, you can see that the whole plot of sin x and its value is from minus, uh, minus 1 to plus 1. Now, uh, this graph uh, needs uh, some modification. That is, there is no x level, there is no y level, there is no title of that graph. Only uh, there is a small uh, thing that is sin x and this is in blue color. So, to modify the graph, just write this thing. So let's say uh, we want to set the uh, x level that is set then we have to write set x level so what is the x level that is x okay and enter now we want to write the uh, y we want to set the y level that is y l a v e l level that is uh, y level is sin x sign of x okay now enter and the title of the to set the title we have to write uh, set remember this uh, thing that uh, all things are in uh, small letter and uh, remember the spaces and also the label spelling uh, these things are important in this uh, programming so set title uh, sign x versus x okay now uh, the thing uh, the thing we have to do that just we have to type read plot so it automatically read plots uh, for you see this thing now you can see that here it is sin x in y y axis and uh, here it is x in uh, x axis and the title is sin x versus x okay so if you uh, if you want to remove this thing from the from the plot 
then you have to write just uh, cut it and you have to write plot sine of x with no title okay one second okay so to remove that thing we have to write uh, that thing plot uh, sin x no title so there will be no width sorry it's my mistake so this is the thing so now you can see that this is uh, this sin x uh, that thing is removed and if you want that again then you, uh, you just have to remove that no title thing and if you uh, if you want that thing to be in left then you have to write so at first uh, if you want uh, that 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 sine x uh, thing uh, that is uh, then you have to again plot that thing so plot that thing and here it is and if you want this to be in the left side then you have to write plot then you have to set the key set key left okay then just replot it and you can write REP for rip plot and it automatically recognize that it is rip plot. So if you just write REP then it is basically rip plot. So REP and then you can see that it is in the left side. And similarly you can do set key bottom, set key left, set, set key top, that thing, that things you can do. Uh, these are the things you can do and you can uh, set the key anywhere you can, anywhere you want okay now mm, now there are several types of plots that is you can uh, plot that uh, sin x curve with a line that the that thing we as we already seen that we have already seen that that is it is with the line the plot is uh, plotted with the lines and now if we uh, want that to be line points line and points then the plot will look like this thing so this is uh, the plot uh, which is plotted with uh, help of line points as you can see that lines are there and also points are there so next uh, another thing if you want that plot to be only with the po point then with point then you can see that that is uh, the plot is uh, plotted with the help with help of points only now now how can we uh, add two plots mm, that thing we can do by just uh, adding a comma so let's say plot uh, plot sine of x comma mm, with and w means with so it's the small uh, small part of with small part of with, uh, we can uh, write with also mm, for and w means the same thing so with uh, lp let's say and next uh, cos x let's say cos x with lp okay so it will plot sin x cos x simultaneously in a same in the same graph so as you can see that here so the green one is the cos x curve and the blue one is the sin x curve okay so as you can see that now uh, if you want to modify that sin x and x that x level and y level then you have to again define that set uh, define that levels that is uh, you have to write set x level uh, something cos x uh, or set set, uh, set x level something x or set y level something cos x and you, are, you can also modify the title also then you have to write again the thing that is uh, if you want to modify that x level set x x level set x level let's say mm, x uh, let's say x prime prime so this thing and if you replot that thing and then uh, then you can see that uh, it will modify then okay so set x level let's say x uh, let's say let's some something 
x axis ok so length rip plot now, now you can see that that is x that becomes x axis ok so if you want to modify anything in a graph then you just have to uh, rewrite that command and then you have to rip plot it so that's the thing to modify a graph now if you want to see only one graph then you can just click that uh, icon in the left uh, left top key so that is if you click cos x it will vanish and if we click uh, sin x it will vanish and if we click cross x again then it will come again so these are the things uh, you can play with all the all of the things and if you if you can if you can investigate uh, specifically a proper graph or specifically particular graph then you can uh, then you can uh, manage the other graph and investigate it uh, properly so sometimes there are lots of graphs in a single graph uh, sometimes we have to handle lots of graphs uh, which are um, which are over superimposed with each other and then we just have to switch off that thing and then you can particularly investigate with one particular graph now we can again uh, add uh, many many graphs let's say and you can uh, you can uh, use that upside button and lower button to uh, to see your uh, see your previous command as you can as you can see that i am doing that so next uh, you can say you can want to you want to pl if you want to plot some let's say x only x x only x with lp let's say then let's see what happens uh, okay one second Okay, so it's not coming due to the range of the range problem because sin x and cos x had diff uh, cos x has different range uh, rather than x square. So just modify the function little bit. Uh, let's say let this to be x only, and let this to be x square. Let's say, and if uh, you can write x square not by the that uh, power button but uh, that thing the double star means the x square and uh, x cube obviously so and many other thing let's say again x mm, let's say x to the power 4 with l uh, p okay and so many things you can add many many more things so uh, let's see what happens so wow now you can see that the power of GNU plot. So, so the blue one is the x, and as you increase the power of uh, exponent of a x, uh, it will increase as you know that. And also you can see the behavior here. Okay, so. Now, if you remove that one thing, you can s uh, investigate over uh, over the other th other plots and so many things. Okay, so these are the things you can do. You can add many many plots and you can plot with different different point size. Uh, okay, let me talk about something about the point size. So there are several point size and also there are several line color also. Uh, okay, and line width. Let's say if you want to plot, plot, let's say x square, x square, which is a parabola as you know that, uh, with L, only line, uh, L, W means line with 3, let's say. Okay, so let's see what happens. And also, uh, also add that thing with different uh, line width, uh, x square, let's say x, x is Q with l line width let's see 2 and let's see what happens so as you can see that um, these are different different colors uh, for line width 2 that is a green color and this is blue color and as you can see that color uh, that 
that width is uh, for uh, x cube width is little bit uh, thinner than the x x square as we have said that uh, for x square we said that line width to be 3 and for this thing we have said that to be 2 so that's why this is little bit thinner x cube is little bit thinner so you can play around this thing mm, and we can uh, vary the line width and plot uh, we can the plot will vary accord accordingly uh, now let's say let's go about the point uh, let's say if you want to plot with point and you can change with different point type point type means p t let's say point type 3 and let's say x q with point type let's say this is uh, 2 okay now let's see what happens okay so as you can see that this is a different type of point types and okay one second Oh, okay with point oh here i write that l so the l will be not there sorry so point with point 2 okay now plot that thing now let's see what happens uh, as we can see that this point is different than this thing so you can add many many more uh, many more things and many you can vary the point size uh, of your choice even 2 4 3 whatever you can see so now you can change the line color also so how to how can we change the line color so at first let's quit that and clear the thing okay now again open gnu plot okay then let's say plot uh, let's go around the previous thing so let's say plot x square which is uh, uh, which i have plotted with the point now let's say uh, plot it with the line with a different line color line color means lc short form lc let's say lc3 and this is let's say with l and lc line color that is 4 okay now plot that thing what happens as you can see that these are different and the color your colors are also changed and this thing becomes yellow and this thing becomes uh, this thing becomes some bluish thing okay so so sky color okay so these are the things uh, you can do and you can change the line color also uh, as i have said i have uh, as i said okay there are uh, one more type of things uh, that is let's say plot x square uh, let's say plot x cube with l dt means dash type now plot will be in dash uh, dash type format let's say dash type 5 okay dash type 5 now let's see what happens as you can see that this plot is like this thing so now if you want to zoom out and zoom in uh, between between the graph then you have to right click and just select that thing now it is zoomed again if you want to again zoom now you can see the behavior of the curve also you can see the type of the also you can see the property of the dash type now again uh, go to the same thing uh, again go to the previous uh, picture you have to uh, type u and it will go as it is so these are the things here also you can set the label uh, of x, x, x axis and y axis also and also you can set the title and lots more things lots of more things you can do so these are the basic things and now uh, i want to say so i want to say something about the range of that plot and as you can see when we when we plot x q uh, or any other things this range is automatically set it up by GNU plot. Set up by GNU plot. Now you can set that uh, that range in GNU plot. Uh, these are uh, these ranges are these ranges are automatically set it uh, set up by GNU plot. And 
now to set your own x range and own y range you have to type set x range um, set x range let's say if you want to set the x range uh, to be from let's say uh, and the you have to write the range from uh, in in the third bracket let's say you want to set the range from minus uh, minus 1 to 1 and on the left side it is the lower limit of the x range and this is the upper limit of the x range let's uh, make it minus 10 minus 10 to plus 10 minus 10 to plus 10 okay now enter okay now we have to set the similarly you have to set the y range y range becomes let's say uh, y range becomes let's say mm, minus uh, thousand to minus minus ten thousand to plus ten thousand okay now these are the things and now just replot the thing okay so as you can see that uh, that y range is not valid that's why it is not it said that can't plot with an empty y range for that thing you have to do uh, you have to do one thing uh, okay uh, let's try with some different function uh, okay mm, let's say plot let's say plot okay uh, cos let's say 3x 3x plot 3x with line as i have earlier said with line now set uh, okay uh, why it is not plotting that's the error common error everyone uh, did so this thing uh, this uh, the then we plot is trying to plot with this this uh, this x this x range and this y range but this is not a valid x range and y range for this function so what we have to do is uh, we have to reset that thing so type reset now if now if we plot again another again that uh, that thing that is this thing uh, this thing if we plot now so it will plot with uh, automatically set uh, set up j uh, x range and y range so it will plot with the um, x and x range and y range which are set up by genu plot now let's say okay so these are this is the thing now we can see that uh, now the our x range is from minus 10 to plus 10 and uh, our y range is from minus 1 to plus 1 mm. so now if you want to change that thing so let's say set x range within third bracket let's say from minus 100 to 100 okay and set y range from let's say y range is from minus 5 to plus 5 minus 5 to plus 5 replot yeah so as you can see that here sorry uh, replot so as you can see that uh, here Uh, here our x range is become x range becomes uh, as you can see I have changed the x range from minus 100 to plus 100 so here the change uh, here the uh, x range is from minus 100 to plus 100 and my y range is from plus 5 to uh, minus 5 to plus 5 so and the graph changes accordingly as you can see earlier the graph is like uh, the frequency of the graph is very high and now the frequency is very low okay so these are the things you can do and you can set the x range and y range automatically sometimes it happens that uh, lots of graphs uh, uh, that uh, that you have plotted uh, sometimes it happens that it will uh, for automatically set it up uh, automatically set up that uh, scale um, that is by cnu plot that is not uh, actually correct uh, sometimes so then you have to set your x range and y range uh, by yourself now one thing hmm, now all of the things that I have taught uh, until now, we can uh, write a we can write a simple uh, command which covers all of the things. And after that, I will stop uh, this tutorial, first tutorial. Mm, 
so what is the command let's say plot uh, a thing which consists of all of the commands that i have earlier that i have earlier used so plot let's say only p means plot okay plot from minus 4 to plus 4 okay from y range is from 0 1.1 let's say okay so these first one first uh, uh, one within the third bracket uh, means the x range and the second one uh, within the third bracket uh, means the y range now if you have only one thing let's say if you do if you uh, if you don't have this thing now uh, and you just plot plot this thing uh, plot this sine of x if you write that so uh, the y range will be automatically selected by gnu plot and x range will be uh, minus 4 to plus 4 so first uh, on the left side first oh, first mm, this thing first uh, range is always x range and the second range is always y range okay so if only uh, only one range is there so uh, if only one range is there and uh, this will automatically uh, uh, selected uh, as x range okay so now if you want the if you want this to be y range and if you don't want to set any x range so you just have to write this thing okay and plot uh, this thing and sine of x sine sorry sine of x okay so now our x range is empty and y range is from minus 4 to plus 4 so these are the things you have to remember so now let's move on our uh, plot so plot uh, minus 4 to plus 4 and 0 to 1.1 0 sorry 0 to 1.1 okay okay now our function let's say exponential function exponential and exponential also a defined function in gnu plot x star x that is x square by 2.0 x square by 2 this is a gaussian as you know that with boxes boxes is uh, another type of uh, another type of uh, plotting so you can plot with boxes uh, let's say, say you can set the line with let's say line width to be 1.5 and these are the things now press enter now you can see a Gaussian wow that's the most smooth Gaussian as you can see that and here is your key this is your boxes you can uh, you can change the width you can change the width of the box by uh, by changing the line width also and you can see it uh, many things uh, let's say if you want to ch if you want to set the x range set set x label x level to be uh, let's say x axis set y level y level to be let's say this thing just copy that thing copy and here paste that thing paste this thing and uh, let's say say title Gaussian distribution Gaussian distribution enter and just you have to write replot and now you can see the title the key the x level the y level all the things are there and you can see the total commands that, that number of commands that have used all are, all are, all the commands are here and you can now these are the things you can plot uh, and these are the things you can do with gnu plot while plotting and if you want to set the grid you just have to place this thing and grid is automatically selected uh, automatically created that is you can see the grid like thing that is in the graph paper that we are used that we have used so these are the things you can do and okay uh, thank you for watching my video 
on GeoNewPlot and I will upload uh, many videos on GeoNewPlot later and please subscribe my channel and if you like the video please uh, like share and please uh, keep on watching my channel so for daily updates so thank you